What's up, YouTube family? It's Dave Stone again with another exciting episode of Develop Awesome Skills. Today, I'm here at the St. Vincent uh, Urban Farm down here in Phoenix. And uh, right behind me is an awesome Moringa tree. Check that out. I wanna, I wanna show you this guy, because they, they trim it. Uh, they cut it right back here down to the base every year. And then that was last winter that they trimmed that. So it's, it's grown uh, a lot since then, it's super cool. And then there's another kind of scraggly looking one back here, but check out these pods. We got some pods all over the place. He gave me some seeds, so I have a handful of seeds here that I'm gonna plant at my house at Stonehaven, and we're gonna propagate these uh, St. Vincent seeds. So they're doing a whole, they got ended up getting a grant, which is pretty awesome. And uh, they're doing a whole bunch of construction out here and they're changing the land around because they're going to make this whole thing the urban farm. So uh, I think that's really awesome. But there is just so many amazing trees here. If you look behind me, here's a moringa. Then we have a banana. I don't know what kind of banana. There's some peaches behind there. So uh, this is how you do it, guys. And, these, and the cool thing about St. Vincent de Paul is they really you know, care about people and they're helping people out. And they're growing moringas to help people out, which I think is probably the best way to help people out. So um, a lot of times on food drives, they'll give people canned food or GMOs or something like that. And uh, and this is moringas. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try some leaves here on this little tree. Now this tree, this, you know, sometimes they can look fairly shaggy. But they're super healthy. So let's see what this one tastes like. That's a very green, not really a spicy flavor. You know, all these trees taste a little bit different. Um, I'm gonna walk around over here. Oh, wow, there's even more. So they have a little shade structure here for a small garden. Um, more moringas right here with a whole bunch of seed pods on them. A whole bunch of moringas right there. Seed pods just a low dead. And uh, yeah, this is super exciting, guys. I just wanted to fill you, I wanted to show you guys because I heard from my friend on, um, on uh, Instagram um, about this, uh, this orchard here. And so um, her name's Kara and she has a food blog and she was mentioning, she was very interested in, in the Moringa. And uh, I think it's Kara's Kitchen. I believe on on Instagram so you guys should check her out but I want to show you these pods here at the end these are huge I don't think I've ever seen pods this big this is put this pod up next to my arm look at this thing from my head down to my waist that's huge <laughs> So, let me try this guy. This is a very green one, super dark green. These are very mild trees. They taste amazing. So then, let me flip the camera around. So we got some more peaches, and some moringas. Nice moringa back there. And they just sprout up everywhere now, he was saying. So, there's another couple in here. There's one. So, this farm's gonna get a makeover, and I just heard. There she is. So yeah, this farm's getting a makeover, and uh, what he just said was that, um, not only did they get a grant to build this place out, but the permaculture design course that I'm gonna be taking at the end of the year, a handful of the classes are gonna be taught here with Greg Peterson. So it's cool to meet people, to see people growing moringas. And uh, we're gonna hit this 1 million moringa mark. So hashtag I want more moringa guys. And uh, that was just a quick little video for me. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, anything, throw it down in the comments. Um, if you guys like this video give me a big green thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and share this video so everybody can see what st. Vincent de Paul is doing for the world so 
On that note, I'm gonna end on this beautiful Moringa tree. Hey, Kelly. Thanks for tuning in. Oh yeah. Oh, check that thing out. So beautiful. So this guys would make a great cutting. You see that's uh, about an inch and a half in diameter. This one's about an inch. It would also make a good cutting. This one might be a little thin, but you could still do it. Um, but yeah, once these trunks get really big, there's so much energy coming up through this trunk that it shoots branches like 10, 15 feet in one season. So. All right, guys, that's it. So until next time, develop awesome skills and Peace. <laughs>